Well, welcome everyone to the, uh, the second day of the uh, Centre of Excellence in Creative Industries and Innovation Symposium. Uh, yesterday, uh, many of you were here yesterday, we had a, a very, uh, a totally awesome, quote unquote, totally awesome Emerging Careers, uh, Emerging Scholars Day, and uh, highlighted by uh, an amazing, a uh, great debate, uh, which was won totally unfairly, I'm sure, by some people and not others, uh, and judged completely uh, ill-advisedly by our esteemed advisory board. So it was a wonderful day of chaos and, and fun, and, and well, as well as uh, uh, learning um, and professional development. So for those who are there, um, uh, good on you, and great to see you back uh, in time for the start of the second day. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Executive Dean of the Creative Industries Faculty here at QUT, Rod Whistler, Professor Rod Whistler, who is going to uh, uh, issue you uh, an official welcome to, to QUT at the, the start of the second day of the symposium. Um, Rod is, uh, has just started. Uh, he's my boss. Um, it's obviously very invited. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good for me to have invited him here. Um, Bob, uh, Rod is, is new to the job. He started in, in March, and, uh, and in that time, uh, he's led a cooperative research centre in, um, uh, undertaken a major restructure of the faculty, uh, and um, made sure that our big stage two development, which is going on. Uh, is about to go on next to and across the road from the Creative Industries precinct just up here. So he's had a few things on his plate, uh, but has also kept a very strong weather eye on um, on our progress here at the Centre of Excellence. So um, over to you, Rod, for the official work. Okay, thanks. Thanks very much, Stuart. And I've been told that I have to stand over here because this photo is happening. <laughs> Getting away. <laughs> Meeting the, meeting the mark, as the stage film actors have to do. Well, look, um, this is a kind of parade of figureheads before you actually get into the interesting part of the, of the symposium, so I'll be, I'll be pretty brief. Um, and my function really is to just say uh, a very warm welcome to QUT. I know that, uh, that things kicked off yesterday, and, and uh, the fact that uh, yesterday was all about emerging scholars and... and the new generation of researchers in this field is, is a particularly heartening thing. But in, in welcoming you, let me also acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we're meeting on today and, and the continuing important role that Indigenous people play in the, in the life and community of, of QUT. Um, look, it, it's, a, it's a, a pleasure for me to be able to also uh, acknowledge the um, the, the partners in the in the centre of excellence, um, obviously the the ARC um, and and our foundation partners, Swinburne University, Edith Cowan University, and the Australian Film, Television, and Radio School, and also then to welcome uh, the new partners, UNSW, RMIT, and Deakin, and to formally say a, a farewell to 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 Wollongong. Um, this, this kind of long-term research activity uh, through the Centre of Excellence program and, as Stuart mentioned, the, the CRC program, I think you know, these, are, these are such important entities in, in the life of, of the country and, and I mean that in a very genuine kind of way. This is not just about an academic pursuit, this is about the future of, of the nation and I think uh, it's great to be able to reflect on the work that your Centre of Excellence has contributed over the past uh, several years to the, the intellectual life of, of the country and, of course, also to the setting of parameters within which uh, some very significant elements of our social life are, are conducted. And... Um, these matters were certainly uh, high in my mind in the context of mounting this cooperative research centre bid that, that Stuart referred to, a bid that is, is titled Australian Creative Futures. 
and of course it's in, in the round with 25 or so others at the moment and we'll, we'll hear fairly soon whether we've been shortlisted uh, again as we were last year. But the, the premise for that Cooperative Research Centre bid was, was the, uh, the need for work to be continued, research, applied research work to be continued at the interface of the performing arts and entertainment and the digital economy. And, and clearly uh, a very significant influencer um, of, of the, the momentum for that bid is what's going on with the NBN and the broad issue of, of fast broadband and, and how it will inevitably uh, shape and reshape uh, life in this country over the, over the next generation. And the importance therefore of, of uh, Australian content within that, that context um, and, and the, the importance of, of uh, a technological infrastructure like the NBN actually feeding uh, cultural and, and intellectual life in this, this country. So the technological infrastructure is just the beginning. And, and I guess to hook that back to this centre of excellence, it's quite clear that the work that, that Stuart, the advisory board, and you as the researchers have done over several years lays the, the, the platform for that kind of applied research work going forward. So it's, it's great to be able to reflect back to you as the stakeholders, the primary stakeholders in this centre of excellence, that your work is uh, giving birth to a whole lot of other activities which couldn't have taken place without the work that you have, have done in, in laying the foundations. So I think uh, that's a very specific example of, of how QUT's uh, commitment and the commitment of my faculty remains very strong to this, this area of, of research. Um, we certainly uh, look to the, the important work that you'll do here today and over the next uh, months in thinking about the prospects of what happens after the life of this, this current centre of excellence. It's, it's very important uh, to QUT, to my faculty, to all of you, that, that uh, this work be continued and we've made a very strong uh, financial and intellectual commitment to that, that trajectory. So I hope that will um, provide you with an optimistic context within which to, to uh, consider um, opportunities for, for the way forward. And so that, uh, that probably leads nicely to a, to a segue into your uh, keynote speaker. Um, it's, a, it's a pleasure for me to be able to introduce Terry Cutler in that role. I'm not going to rehearse his many achievements. There, there's a very thin slice of them listed in the, in the, um, in the symposium program, but you, you, uh, I'm sure most of you know Terry at least as well as I do. Um, so I think uh, it's, it's pretty clear that the, that the topic uh, of, of Terry's address is, is a very forward-looking one and uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll join with me in welcoming him to the podium. Thanks very much for being here. Thank you very much and um, I should um, probably begin by saying that, as Stuart would expect, um, apart from the fact I'm surprised by having a PowerPoint presentation, which I always vow I never do, um, that I'm not quite sure I'm going to address the topic you gave me. Um, because thinking about the challenge, I'm really going to talk about the big questions rather than the big picture and um, pose three main questions and points. Um, the first is, how do I see the innovation challenge changing? And that then leads to the second question of, um, what does that mean um, for how the research challenges are changing? And um, finally, raise the challenge of, um, 
how I see, and I think it's a really important point, the business of research itself changing, the way we go about research. And, and then what are the implications of that for a centre of excellence like this? And also then pick up on the theme from our advisory board meeting yesterday, which was reflecting on the history of the centre to date and the huge progress it's made and what it's done on such a wide front, but then how we maintain that momentum and go forward and define a next generation agenda. And I was wanting to address that by um, basically posing the question of working backwards of saying, how is the innovation game changing? And therefore, what agenda does that start to set in, in research terms for how we um, research around the contribution, particularly of the humanities and social sciences, to um, better understanding of innovation as that process of socioeconomic change um, to design better futures. I always think it's good to start with at least a couple of quotes because if nothing else strikes home um, during the course of my talk, at least you might remember some memorable quotes. And I love this one from Mark Twain, which I think is very opposite about um, the problem being it's what we think we know really well that just ain't so that causes all the problems. And this might also resonate when we get into our next panel session. Um, I think it highlights the importance of what all of you are doing in our mission in terms of the importance of reflective inquiry and critique and constantly asking ourselves, are we asking ourselves the right questions and are we challenging a lot of our embedded assumptions as we go forward in a rapidly changing playing field. Um, so I like keep remembering Mark Twain. And then, of course, the other person I keep liking to refer back to is a very great thinker, Confucius. And um, he, it's very interesting, um, when one of his um, disciples said to him, well, if you're given a gig of running a country, what would you do? And what would you do first? And he said, the first thing I'd do is actually um, get, get the names of things right. Um, and what he was on there was about how do you get clarity about the ordering of public affairs? Um, so it's the language we use, the naming of things. And, and that, of course, is very relevant um, to our history as a centre, but also our future, because um, we go back to a report um, that was around the origins of the centre I was involved in with Stuart and others here. Um, we noted the naming confusion um, in this whole area was rampant, um, with huge category confusion about creative industries and cultural policy. And of course, I think that continues to be rife. And of course, is at the center of um, a lot of the reviews um, that are currently underway. Um, I had particular problems or Confucius would about the way we name and order um, thinking about issues of content. And what do we mean by content and in what sort of context we see it in when we think about well, information issues, knowledge issues and knowledge management. We're talking about stocks of information and knowledge or the flows. Um, rampant um, category confusion, I suggest, continues. The other thing that we keep having trouble naming correctly is the challenge around innovation. And it's really important that we keep going back to reminding ourselves that innovation is all about productivity, it is all about competitiveness, and it is all about well-being and quality of life as three prongs to innovation. And we continue to have major challenges in getting the agenda right here. Um, 